look at that. That started to like melt. That's not straight anymore. That's how much heat was going through these. Last time I took the RS out, the brake pads were so worn out that they were fading on track and I barely made it home. So today we're gonna fix that. The first step is to get the front of the car up in the air so we can pull off the wheels and check the damage. The brake pads were so worn down that the edges of the shims were actually touching the rotors, causing all of the scoring. So it's pretty safe to assume that these rotors are toast as well, and even if they weren't, it's really hard to turn and resurface drilled and slotted rotors. You can do it in theory, but it has to be a very, very slow process. So I've got some new brake pads and I've got some blank rotors to go on. But for now, let's pull these pads out to see how bad the damage really is. So, these are the pads that were on my car. Hawk HPS pads. Uh, I have had nobody recommend these to me. Uh, I've heard that they're some of the worst pads that you could use on the track. Uh, and these ones are pretty darn melted. This is what I have to replace them. Hawk HPS pads. The big thing is that I don't have a lot of weight on this car. These pads, I mean, yes, they were worn down to the absolute bone, but they lasted me over two years. The other reason I'm gonna run them again is because I'm not gonna run this configuration for very long. I need some brake pads so that I can actually move this car around and get it to uh, places that it needs to be. Uh, but also, in the future, I'm gonna be going with these calipers. This is the caliper off of a Toyota Corolla. It's a little bigger and it uses a bigger pad. It also uses a bigger rotor. I'm not right at the point where I'm going to swap all that on right now, so I'm gonna put these on for now, and maybe in three months we see another video where I install all the Corolla bits. But for now, we're gonna install the OEM size pads and rotors. It's important to clean rotors whenever you get new ones because they ship with an oily residue that stops them from corroding. While you've got your caliper bracket out, you should also hit it with some brake clean, making sure to hit the mounting surface and the pad hardware. And there's probably brake dust on just about everything else, so now's as good a time as any to give it all a wipe down. You especially want to clean the brake piston so that no grime gets into the caliper and no brake clean gets on the rubber boot. So last time I checked in on these brake pads, they didn't look anywhere near this bad and I was convincing myself that the reason they got so bad so quickly was that I was getting better as a driver. And a lot of people pointed out to me that that's not the case. What happens is as a brake pad loses material, there's less material to disperse the heat from the brakes, so they heat up quicker which means that if they have a certain threshold temperature, when you have half pads left, you might be getting less brake pressure. And that's definitely what this car started to feel like. But also it means you're gonna wear them down a hell of a lot faster. So check your brakes regularly because that last half is really like the last quarter. And that last quarter is really like the last 10. It's important that when you're installing brakes that you set up a time lapse that shows everybody what brand of underwear you wear. Now, this is a very important part of the installation process and I take it very seriously. So please show some respect and enjoy this time lapse that shows you absolutely nothing about the brake install process. Also, when working with brake clean, make sure you accidentally spray your lens at least once. Okay, so the Yaris is back on the ground. New brake pads, new rotors, wheels are torqued down. Everything is good to go. This setup should last me for about six months before I can figure out the Corolla calipers and get the setup that I want for that. 
But for now, I can take this off the list and this off the list. We still got a lot to do. So uh, I guess, I guess I'm gonna be making another video. See what that next one is.